Hey, what's up team? Welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be doing another interview um, experience video. Today is about the FDM graduate program. I applied for the business intelligence stream um, in Australia slash New Zealand. Uh, so yeah, basically applied um, early in 2021. And then basically they were like, oh, you're only graduating at the end of the year. So like it's too early and we'll get back to you later on. So on the 29th of October, I got an email from a recruiter and then basically they were saying, oh, like, hey, how's, how's your studies going? You know, just following up with my application. And then on the 15th of November, we organized like an initial kind of phone screen, I guess, phone call interview. And that was about 20 minutes. And then a few days later, um, I got sent the like link to do the video interview and then an online test. And then following that, I got another call and I was invited to the assessment center. Um, and that was on the 3rd of December. And then a couple days after that assessment center, I got another email saying that I was rejected. Um, so yeah, basically that's kind of the quick timeline. And now I'm just gonna get a run through um, all the various steps in detail. So yeah, if you're interested, then just stay tuned. So the initial phone call was about 20 minutes long. So basically they just asked some initial questions like what I was studying, um, what career I wanted and why exactly I chose like the particular streams for FDM and also a little bit about like, you know, relocation, whether I was willing to, you know, move to Australia potentially. And yeah, so that went well. And then basically after that phone call, they just sent me the link to do like um, a video interview and then a quick aptitude test, which was about 15 minutes. So pretty easy, nothing too different. I remember I also got asked during that video interview, um, I had to talk about a hobby that I really liked. So I talked about learning Spanish. I had to, one of the questions was like, if I had to reach a deadline, how would I go about it? Um, and I think I talked about like making sure that I prioritize the tasks and, you know, do what is more important, like get that done first and then I can work on the other things. And then another question was, how do I encounter new situations? Um, another one was, name a time you experienced a setback and how you overcame it positively. So I talked about my programming paper in uni and how, you know, I basically failed the first couple of assignments, but I didn't give up and, you know, I kept on, kept on going and I got through in the end. And then I think the last question was, why are you passionate about a career in technology? Um, and so, yeah, after that, I basically got a call, I think the following day, like the exact day I did the interview, I got a call. So this process, like everything was pretty quick. So that was cool. Um, and then, yeah, I got a call from the recruiter again. And that's when he invited me to the assessment center. So the assessment center, if um, you don't already know, is basically like um, a group interview kind of situation. Um, but with FDM, it, there wasn't really any group tasks. So it was literally just like a presentation. So the first hour of the assessment center, we were just getting a presentation about FDM, what the program is. Um, so I thought this was a bit repetitive because I had gone to one of their information sessions prior So I basically knew everything that they were going to say like I already knew it um, So I thought it was kind of repetitive and to be honest a waste of time Like I don't really see the point um, why companies do these presentations like you can literally just do a recording and you know Save everybody like an hour um, But yeah, anyway, so we did that um, and then yeah, we kind of had to introduce ourselves You know talk a bit about what, what we're studying where we're from and then after that presentation that's when we had our two kind of like individual interviews which was I guess the main part of the assessment center so to be honest I was probably a little bit underprepared um but I think that the questions that they asked me were really like different like they just caught me off guard um and so I didn't really answer them very well so in terms of the interviews one of them is basically a little bit more technical and the other one is more behavioral so first I had the technical one with one of the um like trainers I guess um one of the guys that would have like taught the the kind of training program so I don't think I explained so basically if you don't know how FDM works is like they basically train you for about three months and then they place you within a company and then you have to like stay at that company for two years and you can't leave and yeah basically you have to commit to a two-year contract um, with the company um, and I guess the main pros are that like if you don't have a tech background then you can learn you know programming and they can teach you how to do like um, you know business analysis and data analysis and that kind of thing but for me I felt like I had a pretty good foundation and I definitely still had a lot to learn 
Um, but I think honestly that two year commitment just like wasn't it for me. Like I just don't think that I would have been able to do it. And also they did tell me about the salary as well and I'm not going to disclose it here because I don't know, it's probably like against the rules or yeah, it's probably not the best thing to do. But I will say it's about like five to 10K less, I think, than industry standard. Um, So you are kind of getting a lower salary for the first couple years. But in saying that, like, I do think it's still a good program, you know, like if you don't have a tech background or if you're struggling to find a job, like it's definitely um, a good program if you're willing to, you know, commit to the two years and you really want to build like a career in the industry. Um, I think personally for me, like, I don't know, I'm just not about that life. <laughs> like basically my plan was just to kind of, you know, work for a year and then probably just go traveling. So yeah, I think to be honest, my heart just wasn't really in it and I kind of, that kind of reflected on the way I answered the questions. So I don't remember the exact questions, but um, basically there were two interviews. So they were lasted about 20 minutes long. And I think some of the questions were just based on like teamwork, um, you know, name a time where you encountered a difficult problem or when you had to, um, you know, make a tough decision um, when you had to learn a new skill quickly um, and how did you apply it? Um, like, why did you want to work for FDM? Why are you interested in the program? Um, you know your biggest challenge and just kind of like to be honest a lot of generic questions But I probably was just underprepared and I don't think I answered them very thoroughly Like I think the way that they want you to answer is in the star format so you have to describe a particular situation and you know your task like what you did and what the result was and the way I kind of handled it I guess was more like a conversation um, so I think that that wasn't really the way to go um, but yeah anyways after my interviews honestly I didn't have a very good um, feeling like I wasn't expecting a lot and yeah a few days later I got the rejection email like I said overall like the process was really quick and easy and shout out to the recruiter um, if you're watching this I don't know um, but yeah, he was really nice and honestly the process was really quick and easy um, they did offer to give me feedback but I just can be bothered like Basically, they said, you know, if you want feedback, you can call us and, you know, we can have a chat. But, like, because their number is in Australia, I can't really call them. So, yeah, I didn't really bother to do that. But to be honest, I think I know, like, where I went wrong, you know. So, <laughs> I don't really need to be told that. Um, but, yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and found something interesting or helpful. And I will see you all in my next one. Ciao.